The moon was half full tonight, though only visible for brief moments through the clouded skies, leaving the ground below covered in a blanket of darkness. The street lights have long since blinked out of existence, and the only power source at hand belonged to those lucky enough to have a generator. A small, white, one-story house sits on the outskirts of West Point, visible only as the moon peeks through the cavalcade of clouds. Abandoned cars litter the road outside, some in the middle of the road as though the driver had been abducted directly out of their seat, only damage done by the erosion of time and weather. Others were scattered about, dented, some with cracked windows, others with doors left open as their passengers barreled out in the chaos. All, however, with old, caked blood, permanently stained by the sun over the course of months, ensuring nobody forgot the brutality that took place here when they saw them. The clouds return, casting all in darkness again, the details of the violence hidden from sight. Only the most vague shapes are visible to the naked eye. Moments later, a shattering of glass crashes over that deathly silence. And as though summoned from the corners of hell, human silhouettes crawl and eke out of every corner, from around houses, through the nearby trees, and seemingly from behind the cars themselves. Soft breaths and wheezes fill the air, only with the occasional moan to keep things varied. Three minutes. A gruff voice whispers. Behind that white, one-story house, another figure stood, quickly clearing glass from a now-shattered kitchen window. Mousy is a term that had been used to describe him in the past. Rat, however, was much more common. His frame was thin, mistaken for sickly more often than not, at least when there were those who could mistake him at all. When the man was content with the cleaning job he had done, he ran his hand over his hairless head. He learned his lesson on how grabby these assholes are early. Two minutes now, you slow bitch. He insulted himself. Just have some water left, damn it. Willie Evans isn't somebody you'd consider a nice guy. Not that he's particularly evil in any way, but he only focuses on one and only one thing. Himself. His history and his profession dictate that. Odd jobs here and there to make a quick buck, but the real money was always in other people's houses. And those things that weren't nailed down quickly became his and then liquidated into cash. Welcome back to Project Zomboid, everybody, and the story of our next survivor. No longer are we in the safety of Muldrow, and no longer are we playing on my custom settings. We are now back into survival uh, difficulty, just to see if maybe I can survive a little bit with some practice now. Uh, and in the meantime, our new character, Willie Evans, is a bit different than the past two. He is a burglar. He is a slow reader, but he's underweight, which means he gets a penalty on uh, strength-based things. But I gave him cat eyes in turn. And if you go to the skills, he's already light-footed, nimble, and good at sneaking. And he's going to have a bonus to all of these things as well. A stealth, uh, a stealth more play style is something that we haven't really explored all that much. And I'm hoping that it ends up paying out nicely for us. For now, let's see what our dear friend Willie, Evan ha Willie Evans has in his uh, home, if this is his home. And we'll see if we can maybe... We do have a key. Uh, maybe if we can get ourselves a decent start here. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually quite disappointed that our dear Jessica is dead already. Um, 
I was really ex I was really enjoying exploring and writing her past, but that's kind of the draw of doing stories in this regard. And uh, you might never it's a, it's a kind of an interesting experiment in creative writing where you never know if you're going to finish the story for one. Uh, and then for two, you, you know, you're kind of always going to you always have the chance to be left with a cliffhanger, never knowing the full history of our characters before they got to this point. But it's also kind of fun to do it that way. We have at least four in our vision, and I'd like to immediately try and clean out uh, the nearby ones, just so we have our place a nice little safe zone that we can use for ourselves. Ooh, he just, I think he just spun, I think he just spun the frying pan in place. Get his attention, kind of just make a jerky movement. Okay, He's getting a little nervous, but that's all right. One, two, three, four, five. As long as we're constantly aware of what's behind us, we should be fine to clear these guys out. Even if our frying pan ends up dying, this guy's got a meat cleaver in his back right away, so that's what we want to do. We want to try and get this guy's attention. Okay. Slowly but surely. Yeah, that meat cleaver is going to go a long way into cleaning up these people very, very quickly. So since we're playing in the survival aspect, the survival difficulty, not my own custom one, which I kind of call one month later, uh, our dear friend Willy has, is going to be rather familiar with how things work in this world. Driven from his home, likely in need of supplies, or just getting surrounded and it's no longer safe. But it's working out nicely for him, and he kind of enjoys the solitarity. Maybe he's a meaner person than we initially understood. Only one way to find that out, though. Maybe that's not a meat cleaver. Maybe that's a hand axe, which would be even greater. I really want his attention, though. Come on. There we go. Nice and clean. The fact that we started with points in stealth like this, too, uh, is actually meaning we can kind of pull as we need them. Which we never get to do, and that's I hope that's a hand axe. Get on the ground. Good, and we didn't even have to lose a frying pan for it. Please? That's a hand axe, right? Yes! And it's been... It's in very good condition. This is our first time using a hand axe, actually. Good condition, good damage. Let's see what happens. Down he, down he goes, I guess. Okay, Matt. Yep, that's fine. On the ground, ma'am. I've got a hand axe. And I'm not afraid to slice open your face. This means we're going to be able to build safety, I think, pretty quick. You know what? Give it to me. This is what you get. Wear it. All right, Willie. For Kentucky. All those Kentucky... All those Kentucky pride hats. Hello? All right, fine enough. We, we grabbed two. I didn't want to, but two is better than all three of them. Nice. On the ground. And we'll go for the quick kill. Now. I'd like to get her on the ground as well. Here she comes. Come up. We'll go for the quick kill. She's actually getting uh, a little bit of gains on us here. On. The. Ground. Come on. Oh, maybe it's a good thing you were last. You lasted a long time. Okay. Painkillers. Great. Happy to have them. A Riverside map. We're in West Point, by the way. We're no longer in Muldrow. Uh, in case I forgot to say that. And it's been a while since I've played West Point as well. So we'll see what kind of wonderful dangers this place has for us. For now, though, let's go ahead and wear this jacket for a little bit more protection. I think we're wearing sneakers, but I'm okay with the sneakers for now. Does this give us any lower stealth? Scratch, run, combat, speed. We're going to swing a little slower. Here, you know what? Let's read this magazine. Thank you, magazine volume four. Metal working. Let's keep moving. Now, over here, somebody had gotten devoured. We have two, three across the street and one up against these buildings. We want to clear our nearby neighbor's buildings first. Uh, for obvious reasons, I'd think. But in case you don't know, <laughs> we need to be getting food. And every single building is going to be very dangerous and filled with Zeds. We could just get out of here. With a, with a hand axe, we might not even want to set up here. We might just say this isn't worth it. 
And I'm, I, oh my god, I'm so happy. Give me the watch. Okay, you know what? Perfect, let's get out of here. Oh, it's been a while. It has been a while, West Point. Where are we? I think this is laundromat area stuff. Which means I think we're near a hotel? Oh, no. I don't like this at all. What is this, a driving school? Here, let's stand up and let's start moving. Yep, there's a market here. And since they're going to be urban focused, we're going to be kind of in a bad spot. So I don't think heading south right away is the right call. Let's get back down into our stealth position. Uh, and as you can see, oh, we got a little bit of a cooking skill because the TV was on when I started up. Let's just move this hand axe, by the way, on top of just being useful for a variety of reasons uh, all in combat alone. But uh, on top of that, we're going to be able to chop down trees, I think. Yeah, we can actually immediately work on our carpentry skill, which is always very nice. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus, dude. Seeing that group there, it's maybe a good thing we get the hell out. So why don't we go back inside? Grab what food we have and get out of here. I would like to have all of our non-perishables first. Perishables can come afterward. We'll take this. We'll take the mug so we can fill it with some water. You know what? I'll take a plastic bag and equip it as a secondary. Uh-oh. Yep, hey. Let's drink. Drink. Please. Fill. Empty mug. Okay. Lesson learned. Let's go. Hey, sir. Adios. Oh, my good lord. There's Dave all. <gasps> He's got a backpack. Wow. Well, with high number of zombies, I guess this is, uh, was bound to happen. We got a watch and a backpack right away. Well... The backpack might be out of our reach at this point, honestly. The judgment call. Be happy with what we have. A burned down car, though. Burned down house with a car, rather. Can I go in? See you later. I think the plan is just to keep moving until we find ourselves somewhere somewhat stable. We may need to just be a nomad as well uh, in the survival difficulty. I don't, I don't know what the best call here is. There's so many more zombies. To give you an idea, the starting number of zombies in this setting is at a one multiplier. It's where it's supposed to be. Um, for when I created my own settings, I put it at a 0 0.65 instead. I bring it down just a little bit. And as you can see, it's still kind of problematic. But man, it wasn't quite like this bad. But at least our sneaking and our nimble is going quickly. And it will continue to, to keep growing as we, as we continue. Ooh, that might be a police officer in there. If it is... There might be a gun in there. It's two zombies though, in a couple of rooms. I don't think we I don't think we say yes to any of this and we just keep going. Man. Surrounded. Every house has like a group of like ten. One house out the lone over here, but this, the neighbor is just Loaded with them. There's no point. I'm even keeping an eye out for like backpack zombies or anything, but no such no such luck in any of them that we can pick off. So let's just cut through some trees. Over here, maybe with some garages and the like. There's a nice house here with only a couple. They're gonna break that window. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's what I wanted. On the ground. Are you serious? Don't- not like this again. Ah, oh, she freaking busted in. Hey. Okay. Instant kill. And then over to you. I'll absolutely finish the both of you off that were following me over here. Thank you. 
Now I'll see if I can push her to the ground. There we go. I think there's a little momentum in the way you push. If you keep pushing, it does seem like she'll fall over easier if you just are relentless with it. <gasps> knife, 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 knife. Hey. There we go. Yeah, that does seem like it works. Definitely hear another one. Back up. Yep, yep. Hey there. Listen, I'll, I'll happily just play patient and clear these all out as needed. Okay, okay. Three. Ugh. Close call. Oh, no. Ugh. Come on. Come on. You got to get off. Ugh. Come on. I think she's dead. Now I'll take you out. I really kind of pushed the combat there because I was curious. I don't like that at all. I was curious. Oh, my God. She just keeps missing. I keep barely moving my mouse. I was curious how many zombies I could take up close. I hadn't really played with it that much. You know what? I'll take the screwdriver. I'm not happy with it, but I'll take it. I'm hoping this house is empty. The window breaking is usually, you know, going to draw some, you'd think. There we go. We'll close the window. We'll do a quick loot of the of this place if we can. Okay. All right. Let's eat them. The. Radish and the tofu if we need it. We'll eat the tofu as well. Okay. Some panic beta blockers, which is always nice to have on hand. And I already checked in here, right? They have eye makeup doll, etc., etc. All these, you know, beginners, beginners, beginners is all so nice but does not help me in the moment. Okay. Let's get back to crouching. It's a car with some blood. Whoa. And a car key. Okay. All right. I think we can do this. I think we have a place that we can potentially clean up here. I got to pull a little bit. There we go. One's going to be a little faster than the other, which is always welcome. Gonna keep on backing up. Oh. Okay. Police officer? Oh no. It looks like Jess with gray hair though. And that guy's got something sticking out of his stomach, and that's alright. Just keep moving. I don't like this, but there's nothing I can do about it. Fortunately, we never got to use our guns. Who can I pull away? I don't think I can... They're all like the same speed. Let's get through. Trying to lose one. Back up. I want this house overall is kind of where... Oh, okay. Fine. Let's shout. Let's get them out of here. And we'll try and lose them and go wide with them. Just gotta check the body in case. Okay. We'll sneak as we dip around the corner. Now we're gonna hit a big pack, I'm sure. But as long as we can kind of keep it quiet, I'm hoping we can eventually lose them. There's a sheriff with an awesome sheriff's outfit. We're going to go wide here. 
now. How badly does our dear boy Willie Evans want the sheriff's outfit? I think I have to say not as badly as I would personally like it for safety reasons. Let's check this house now. We're getting a little tired, so we should be very careful. That key is not going to go anywhere. Looking good on the sneaking and light-footed. Really got to take a stealth approach. I think. Please. Okay. It's fine. Window. Good. We're going to case the entire place. I've made that mistake once and I will not make it again. I hear zombies. One. Door's closed. It's fine. I'm mostly looking... Yep. For back here. Again, I will happily try to pick off a couple as they as they see me. Okay. Come on. Back. I just want to get in the house, but it's not going to happen. We might just want to use this car. She has something sticking out of her chest, I think. Nope. Okay, got her. Okay, we got, we got her. So now we can try and lose them. There's so, there's so many of them. I'd like to sit down and chill. But I don't think that's going to happen. Well, it's a good thing we got beta blockers. Let's pop some. Got some water up ahead. The plan right now is to still try to get to that house while leading away as many of them as I can. And losing as many of them as I can. The plan is just going to stay to keep breaking sight. We're not bleeding, so they shouldn't smell my blood in any way. I'm a little bit nervous with how poorly this started. We've already drank all of our water. There's the cars. Is this house... Maybe this house is a best bet for now. We've cleared it. Can I not? Judge Matt has on Triple N! Hey! That's me. The voice of reason. Uh, I've met with General John McGrew many times. He's a fine man. When he says there have been no fatalities from the infection, he means it. You can trust Judge Matt has. Man's career has earned enough medals to block... You know, we got to turn this off for now for my own safety, unfortunately. Do we have any food? Little beef jerky can go a long way. I think I'm going to take a quick rest and we're going to try and pop out. We might just sit in this house for the night. It's almost 7 o'clock. However, we can see at night. We have cat eyes. There's one outside. There might be more than one outside. Yep, there is. Alright, you know what? I want this key at the least. Sun is going to go down, which is going to allow us to move a lot more freely, too, which is always good. Windows opened. 
Ah, they're hearing the thumping. Not a bad thing. Probably clear out some numbers, but... I'm just going to go through the trees here. Just quietly. I still want this house. Can we kill off another one? Man, that takes so much more now. Get on the ground. Come up. Maybe the car will have like a pipe in it or something that we can grab or a wrench. All of that would be super great. Let's see if we can get to the dart. I don't know which one's the dart. I assume it's the small one. Lug wrench, which we cannot use as a weapon. Let's see if we can get inside. Wait, why am I... What the heck? That was weird. A bandage. A flashlight. An uncooked cockroach, which I'm not okay with. No gas. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The bandage alone is nice. The house is just not safe anymore, but I'm going to keep trying. Come here. Back up. What a first day for Willie Evans here. This thing is just not good enough. The frying pan, I think, was better. Back up. That's so stupid. Those misses, I think, need to be tweaked really, really badly. Because the last one, I would argue what killed me in the last go was a bad miss. And, uh... Misses are lethal, and I do not know what causes them. If it's just, like, a 3D model thing. Or what. But it has been a little bit annoying. I'll take the beta blockers happily. Hello. Sorry, but I, I, I know that you were, they were your friends and all, but your brain's exposed. Your brain's exposed. Your brain's exposed. That's all, that's all I feel like I need to say. Hey, madam. Yep. You next? Hello. Welcome to the... Uh, Hand Axe Emporium. Push. Push. Thank you. I'd rather... I'm, excuse me? So you became a crawler, but got really kind of glitchy in the process. Got it. Okay. Well, I think this house is finally safe. Let's see if we can get into the car. Adhesive tape is good for at least some repairs. Masterson Horizon Key. Okay, we have the key. Another car. We have two cars now. Another plastic bag and lug wrench. Does this thing have gas? Actually, let's just, just vehicle it real quick. Yeah, this might actually go. We don't. I don't think we have any... Our gas tanks injured and a lot of our brakes and stuff it's gonna be not the smoothest drive and we don't have any gas right now but but it's still a vehicle two of them technically that just work i want to check the rest building again yeah there's zombies there but i know there was one inside <coughs> sir madam i don't know Come up. I hate hitting your legs, but there's nothing I can do about it. Turn off. We left a window open. I don't want to stay here. I'm going to shut some stuff up real quick. Because we're not going to... We're not staying here permanently. Yep, there's that. 
Let's move. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna stay there for now. It's a bit scary, but we'll come back and clean it up another time. Grab the food. We're just going next door. A kitchen knife is a great get. Some canned foods. Come on, come on. See you later. Bloodied and slightly beaten, but far from dead. Willie Evans, new life begins. Will we be nomadic? I don't know. For now, though, I think it's safe to say staying in one place for very long is probably not the best call. I can hear... I can hear... Zombies literally outside. Think we might have to go see if we have to clean up first before we do anything. Let's keep, keep the kitchen knife for now on hand. It's not nearly as deadly as it once was in that it's not nearly as fast to use as it once was, but it does the job. One, two, just the two? And then those there. All right. Well, it's 9 p.m. Should probably play it safe. Close the curtains. Turn off all the lights. And let Willie Evans rest. This is going to be a toughie, I think. But we can do it. He's confident, at least.